I think it's so amazing. Like, I absolutely adore these guys, and I wish I could Many of us settle for mediocre lives. We sometimes fail to realize that life isn't just a series of goals to be achieved, but rather a journey to be celebrated along the way. We get caught up in commitments, and before we know it, we're asking ourselves, what did I really spend the most formative years of my life doing? We fail to explore the world not just geographically, but also in its depth by failing to connect with those around us and listening to what our gut truly tells us. All of this because we're afraid. We fear new situations, we fear stepping off our autopilot, and we fear what we cannot predict. But in hey besties, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to sit down with you guys today and talk about the people that inspired me, the people that have changed my mindset. I feel as though as I've gotten older, my mindset has really changed. I don't, I don't have always been like so imaginative and I've been so like, is it whimsical or something? I don't know the word for it, but I've always had a bigger picture and a bigger idea than what my reality was. And I came across this brand, this group, this group of friends called the Yes Theory. And I fell in love with their videos, with their content, with them, with their personalities. They made everything that I thought about in my head, they made it such a reality. I'm very spontaneous, I'm very outgoing, I like to do crazy and fun things. I'm also very scared as well, but they made being afraid cool, if that makes any sense. I've been watching them since I was in college and they're all about seeking discomfort. And they're the ones that made me get out of my comfort zone. By watching their videos, I was so inspired. And I did my first trip to Jamaica and I was really afraid of heights. Not not really afraid of heights, I'm more afraid of like drowning and jumping into a pool or jumping into a river because I cannot swim. And when I went to Jamaica, I was able to like conquer my fear by jumping into like a stream, river, whatever you wanna call it. And it was because of Yes Theory, it was because they made amazing videos that really, really inspired me. I love them i love everything that they stand for these guys are so creative my ideal career would be to travel the world telling stories and this is what these guys get to do every single day they get to come up with crazy ideas well not really crazy but they they get to come up with out of the world ideas and they go after them and film content and share it with the world. And I've always said, oh my gosh, I wish I was in an elevator with them or I wish I ran into them on the street because they do these videos where they stop people and they ask them, would you leave everything right now to go to Jamaica with me tomorrow? And it's all about saying yes and they try to get people to get out of their comfort zone, to seek discomfort and to say yes to some of their ideas and they've been very successful because they would do like a date in Paris or they would do like going going skydiving and they get all these people to say yes and that is what my dream my ideal career would be and they've made it an entity they have made it where they're doing podcasts they get to um, tell their stories and I think it's so amazing like I absolutely adore these guys and I wish I could meet them and when I went to LA I was like oh my god I wish I, like let me like try to run into them like where are their headquarters like I want to run into them I want to do some kind of project with them and I love that they give back like these dudes are so passionate they're so realistic they make everything seem like they make every like they make the impossible possible and it really shows that whatever you want in life no matter how big the idea is no matter how crazy it sounds it's doable and i'm just here to just tell you like why i started seeking discomfort and it was because of the of this yes theory group and i want to tell them thank you 
I've been watching you guys since I, if I don't know if you guys will see this, but I've been watching you guys since I was in college and I'm graduated now, I graduated in 2019, yeah, 2019 and two years later, I'm here and I'm still watching you guys and I am just so proud, like have you ever watched somebody and say like, wow, you were just so proud of them and so proud of what they are creating and I wish I was a part of their journey. I wish I was a part of their team, honestly. Like, I, I wish they would call me and be like, do you want to go somewhere tomorrow? Like, I will, I'll take off of work. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> call me. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. So this is just to say that the reason, the, the reason why I am the way I am and the way my mindset is and how I see the world and why I'm so passionate and why I want my passion to come through because I have been watching inspirational videos like Yes Theory. I have been watching their group. I've been seeing what they're doing and they make me, they're the reasons why I do solo traveling. They're the reasons why I want to see the world. Like it's because of them I decided to seek discomfort and go to Costa Rica. I even inserted a clip from their video. It's the reason why I wanted to go to Costa Rica to solo travel for my first solo traveling trip. And these guys are amazing. You guys just have to watch them. And there is beauty in the world. There is beauty in seeing things that you're not used to seeing every single day. And there is beauty in stepping out of your comfort zone. And I, I was reading my book and, they, and it says like fear Fear sometimes makes people so comfortable in where they are that they will not leave um, their environment. And I think that is so true. Like, as blissful and scary that fear can be, it also makes us very comfortable. And I think the world should be all about seeking discomfort. And that is my motto in life right now like that's literally my motto is to seek discomfort every single day to do things out of my comfort zone to do things that bring me joy bring me happiness that like spark an emotion inside of me and sometimes I want to do things that might make me cry because I want to know like why did that spark a tear you know so these guys are amazing they're so ambitious they're so driven they're outrageous. They're, their ideas are so outrageous and I love it. They got Will Smith. I love Will Smith. They got Will Smith to jump out of an airplane with them. Out of a helicopter with them. Like what? Who in the world? How the heck do you get Will Smith to do that? I mean like, ooh, my mind is flabbergasted. I love Will Smith. Their mindset and Will Smith's mindset I feel like it was meant to happen and it happened. So this is my video to tell you to seek discomfort, get out of your comfort zone and to be passionate and don't let anybody turn your ideas down. Like really go out and achieve what you want to achieve. Go out and, and just do it. As hard as it, as it is, just do it. Just do it, like just why? Like what is gonna happen if you don't? You will never know. But I think there is so much power in doing something that you thought about in your head and bringing it to life. Like that, that right there is a creative mind. That right there is your resume, is your proven record of life. So I just wanna tell you guys to seek discomfort and live your best life. <laughs> Bye.